Hello everyone. We'll continue the topic. We did all the steps for first ALV. Now we will do the steps for second ALV. We will not fetch the data from VBAP table because our VBAP table data will come based upon the double click event of first ALV. If I'll show you the requirement, if I will repeat the requirement, what was the requirement? At the initial level, our second ALV is blank. Based upon double click action, the second ALV is filling. So what we will do for the first time, we will display the blank ALV. So I will not display the, I will not fetch the data from VBAP at this point of time. I'll just create a field catalog, second field catalog. And I will do the copy paste. In the second ALV, I want to display three columns. So I will take three columns. That is our field catalog two now. Field catalog two. Field catalog two. An internal table for the second field catalog is VBAP. Second column is POSNA. What is the text or label for the POSNA? It is item number. I will do the same process for third column. Third column is Matena and Matena is material number. Now we will do the same to same steps for second ALV. We will create the object of the container, object of ALV grid. Then we will display that data using the method set table for first display, but everything will be two second. So I'll just copy the logic and we will do the respective changes. This is our now second container. I will give the name to the second container, suppose COnt2 second ALV grid object and I'm binding our second ALV grid and the second parent is the second container is the parent for second ALV grid because we have two ALVs. This is our second ALV. Our second internal table is VBAP and our second field catalog is LT field cat. Just the conclusion is whatever we did for first ALV, we did the same thing for second ALV. Just we have not fetched data because at the initial level, the data will be data in the second ALV will be blank. So we did the same to same steps for the second ALV. Now, we all know we have to design the containers now in the screen. How to design? Firstly, I will go for a screen number. I'll call the screen number. I will double click and create the screen number. To display the sales order details. I'll go to layout and we will design now two containers. 
फर्स्ट कंटेनर फर्स्ट ए एल वी सेकेंड कंटेनर सेकेंड ए एल आई जस्ट कस्टम कंट्रोल आई विल टेक कस्टम कंट्रोल फर्स्ट ए एल वी एंड वट विल बी द फर्स्ट कंटेनर वट विल बी द नेम ऑफ अवर फर्स्ट कंटेनर सीओ एन टी वन If you remember, we gave the name as C O N T one. Now I will design the second container, and I will give the name as C O N T two for the second container. In first container, first E L B grid will display. In the second container, second E L B grid will display. I will save this. and i will activate my program i'll go to back button and i am activating my original program itself i will show you in debugging mode how it will work i am putting the break point and i will show you how it will work desktop 3 most preferable desktop data from first table is fetched 82 records now our field catalog first field catalog is generated you can see our first field catalog generated our first container object created yes our first alv grid object created then we binded our data first internal table data with the first field catalog we generated our second field catalog our second field catalog is ready our second container object is created our second alv object is created and we binded our second data with the second field catalog and in the screen we designed the containers if i will go for okay you can see the same to same output in this first alv data from vbak table is displaying now based upon double click action we have to fill our second alv second alv this part will continue in the next video thank you